Wakatai Hawa, Wakatai Hawa Shai, Wakatai Hawa, Wakatai Hawa Shai, Wakatai Hawa, Wakatai Hawa Shai. All praises to the Abanawa, Yahweh by Shema Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and salutation to the apostles in this word in truth and sincerity. Right, this is a follow on to the, um, the door shall be shut in the street. Okay, this is an article by financial guru Peter Schiff. Okay, he's saying that the coming financial crisis will be much worse than the Great Depression. Investor Peter Schiff. Right, Peter Schiff is saying that the soup kitchens are going to be worse. It's going to be worse than I wouldn't know. I wasn't around in the Great Depression, so you know. But we know it's going to be worse. I told you it's going to be worse. It's going to be no other time like the time that's coming. Anyway, it says here, um, fire photo of unemployed men at the volunteers, volunteers of America soup kitchen in Washington, Reuters. Right, there, there she is. Okay. Crackers. Anyway, it says here, uh, the Great Depression will pale in comparison to the next financial crisis, crisis, which could soon be coming, according to investor Peter Schiff, famous for his doomsday predictions. Okay, he's not the only one. You've got Gerald Salenti, you've got uh, Jim Rogers. Uh, there's plenty of others. Okay, and it says there, the bad news is we are going to live through another great depression. Okay. Another great, this one's going to be a tremendous depression, okay? And it's going to be very difficult. This will be, in many ways, much, much worse than what people had endured during the Great Depression, Schiff said, as quoted uh, by Zero Hog, sorry, Zero Hedge. This is going to be a dollar crisis. It says here, the great crash of of 2018 will in bond market stretches stratic stratist according to shift the us federal reserve is propping up the markets to urge people to spend more i said that in the last video man people ain't they're holding on man they're penny pinching you know what I mean? Because they know, they don't know what the, the tomorrow is going to uh, behold. They see, they see people losing jobs like nobody business. Everybody on the radio, uh, this company shutting, that company shutting. And good. And that's closer to our uh, redemption, man. Look up, man. Your redemption draweth nigh. You know what I mean? It's beautiful, man. I love it. But in fact, the wealth created is a bubble. They're always talking about that financial bubble, man. Yeah? Well, that bubble's gone burst. Um, it's actually doing damage. If you create a bunch of phony wealth and people end up spending money that they otherwise would have saved, you are under undermining economic growth he said in January shift predicted this was fucking with me man shift predicted that the economy is going to blow up like a bomb because of the Federal Reserve policy but President O. MacDonald Trump will be to blame uh, unfortunately that's what Trump has inherited from Obama it goes a lot further than that. It goes back to Bush uh, Jr. and Bush Sr. all the way back. Yeah. But it is not. It goes all the way back to um, uh, Lyndon. What's his name? The one that gave up the... Um, uh, um, what's, what's that? What's, what's that? Uh, when he changed the, um, uh, the gold. When you could buy... Sorry, he had a... From a glitch, a Satan, in it, huh? Let's continue, and it says it. Unfortunately, 
That's what Trump has inherited from Obama. But it goes back further than that, like I said, from um, it goes back to the Bush Jr., Bush Sr., all the way back to Lyndon Johnson, I think his name was, when uh, when he um, gave up the uh, the gold the gold uh, certificate. When you can go into a bank and with twenty dollars and get twenty dollars worth of gold, because uh, the, the the financial um, system was backed by gold at one stage, um, but now it's got it's back. It's just a uh, they call it fiat currency where they just print money, uh, money out of thin air. That's why it's all fucked up, man, because they're over flooding the place with uh, with money, with paper money, I should say, monopoly money. And it says here, that's how you get hyperinflation anyway. It says, um, but it's not even really just Obama. It's the Federal Reserve. That's right. It goes back to that Jekyll Island when they decided that they was going to control the, the, the money system in America. Okay. And the money system all over the world. Cause it really goes back to the, um, the Rothschilds when he sent his five sons into Europe to control the money, the banking the banking system because he said I care not who owns the land whoever controls the money will set the rules and it's true and it says that it's a mandatory policy that has been passed like a baton from Clinton to Bush to Obama and now to Trump and we're near the end of the game and unfortunately and unfortunate no it's fortunate for us Hebrew Israelites for whatever prospective tribe yeah because we're getting out of here, man, by the will of, by the, by the Lord's will, man. If we're the elect, we're getting out of here, man, okay? Out of this wicked-ass kingdom. And we're coming into a kingdom, a righteous one. That's what we look for, okay? Anyway, it says, unfortunately, Trump's going to be the full guy. This thing is all going to collapse while he's president, Schiff said. The tax cuts will give the Democratic Party a reason to blame the collapse on Trump and the Republicans. The investor added. All right, the investor added. So I think that's the end of that. Uh, there's a few. Uh, war between Iran and Saudi could send oil to 300 per barrel and impoverish the world. <laughs> It says here, U.S. students uh, now own Uncle Sam more. Now owe Uncle Sam more than was spent in the entire Iraq War. Yeah, because they're, they're, they're them college freaks. They're going to, um, like over here, paying for um, them, them um, prestigious institutions, thinking that they're going to get a high a higher job. You're going to get out. There is no jobs. Right, and this is, uh, it says here, New Zealand adds prostitution to the list of employment skills for would-be immigrants. <laughs> See what I mean? It's even got as bad as that. Now, prostitution is a job. <laughs> even though it dates back to uh, ancient times. And that's another thing. If the Most High is so dealing with women, yeah, this is, this is what, I, uh, what come to me. Why would the Lord allow a woman to give up pum pum to everyone if he's, if he's so, uh, if he's so down with the women, okay, the Most High, why would he allow a woman to give up pum pum to all different men? If he's so dealing with a woman, in the Bible it says that she is a possession, man. You know what I mean? That's why he said he's gonna make a man more precious than fine gold, because women are like fine gold in this society, in this Esau's kingdom. Okay. Anyway, on to the next. This is a one of the world's longest gas pipelines from Russia to China, almost complete. Uh, Dubai-based British twins face jail for illegally assaulting police and cursing Arab women. That's what these crackers do, man. They go abroad thinking that they can uh, take the piss out of everyone. That's why you know. People are bashing their heads in now, man. These heathens are bashing these crackers' heads in. They've had enough of them. Russia makes billions after US sanctions turn ruble into rubble. 
Yeah, whatever. Russia and Iran drop dollar trade by expanding oil for goods supply agreement. Yeah, because everybody going to drop that dollar. That's why these Yankees, these Americans, I mean, everybody's businessmen, because they can't have that. They can't have that uh, hyperinflation in their place, man. But it's coming. Iran joins Russia, lead free zone, lead free trade zone. You know what I mean? Because all of them are coming together now. I think that's it. Right, so that's it, man. Let's get a few scriptures and knuckle on. Right, this this devil is very crafty, you see, and that's why he's um everything is the de he's designing. Well, he ain't doing it. It's by the power of the Most High because he, the Most High controls all spirits. So the Most High is controlling this white man, this crafty devil. He's created him to be the devil, yeah, and he's made him crafty, and he's you know he's destroying the economy, destroying the planet. He's known as the destroyer. Anyway, this is Daniel 8 and 24. And it says, And his power shall be mighty, but not by his own power. Because the Most High gives him the power. Right? It tells you in, in Daniel's, um, uh, what is it? Uh, it says he setteth up the basis of men. I can't remember actually which uh, chapter it is. It's just in Daniel's though. And it says, um, And his power shall be mighty, because the, the, the the crackers are mighty because his blessing is the sword. Genesis 27. But not by his own hand. I just said that. The Most High set him up. And he shall destroy wonderfully and shall prosper. And he's prospering now. Yeah, well, he's not anymore, but he, he was. Okay? And practice. And shall destroy the mighty and holy people. And who are they? The Israelites. We're the separate people. We're supposed to be separate from all nations because the Most High loves us. We're his people. The world was made for our sakes. Okay, for the Israelites, all 12 tribes, from Judah down to Issachar, Yashashka. And it says, this is Daniel 8.25, And through his policy also he shall cause craft to prosper. I'll put up that word craft in a minute. I'll look that up in the dictionary. And it says, to prosper in his hand. All right? And he shall magnify himself in his heart. The heart is deceitful and desperately wicked. Who should know it? The Most High. And by peace he shall destroy many. And he shall, and he also, and, sorry, destroy many. He shall also stand up against the prince of princes, but he shall be broken without hand. The prince of princes is Yahweh by Shim, Yahweh Shai. The son of the son of the Most High, how was shy? Okay, he's going to try and stand up, but he's going to be broken without hand. Right, here's that word craft. Right, let's see here, craft. Let's go to number two. It says, um, skill used, um, skill used in deceiving others. Her cousin was not her equal in guile, and evasive craft. Synonymous, Cra uh, cunning, uh, craftiness, guile, willingness, artfulness, deviousness, slyness, trickery, trickiness, and more. Well, that's what this damn demon is, Esau. That sounds everything what he's about. Slippery serpent, a serpent, isn't he? Jeremiah 30 and 5. For thus saith the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Ask ye now, and see whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins, as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness? Alas, for that day is great. So that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. But he shall be saved out of it. See? Because crackers, look. It's worse than the Great Depression. That Peter Schiff saying that. Jacob's trouble. If it's worse for the white man, yeah, it's going to be worse for him. What about you Negroes? You're at the bottom. So that means you're going to be way at the bottom. Yeah? So, the most, anyway... The Lord, the Lord, gonna take care of his um, 
Let's, go, let's jump down to 10. Um, and it says, this is Jeremiah 10. Sorry, Jeremiah 30. So like a Jeremiah 30 and 10. Therefore, fear, fear thou not, O my servant Jacob, saith the Lord. Neither be dismayed, O Israel. For lo, I will save thee from afar, and thy seed from the land of their captivity. Right? Because you're not free. You're still in your captivity, man. Yeah? In America, you're still there. Okay? And Jacob shall return, and shall be in rest, and be quiet, and none shall make him afraid. Remember, you're still getting shot down in the streets, man. Yeah? Got these nations licking your wounds. Yeah? In your in your uh, communities, making money off you. Okay? You ain't going to be afraid no more. For I am with thee, saith the Lord, to save thee, that I make a full end of the nations, whither I will scatter thee. Yet I will not make a full end of thee. Okay? Because it tells you in Baruch, man, 4 and 6, you were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, because you moved the Heavenly Father to wrath. Okay? You made him jealous when you went a, 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 a whoring after these other gods. Okay? But he's still, our, he's still our Heavenly Father, man. As God cast... Uh, Romans uh, 11 and 1. As God cast away his people, God forbid. Okay? Hell no. Anyway, it says... But I will correct thee in measure. Okay? Because if the cracker had his way, he would have been done away with. So he's he using the, the, the cracker, the, the, the Edomites, as a whooping stick to correct us. Okay? And it says, And will not leave thee altogether unpunished. Okay? So I'm going to leave it with that. I like to say all praises to the Abanawa Yahweh by Shima Mashiach Yahweh Shai. Double honours to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And salutation to the Akim pushing this word in truth and sincerity. Kwam Yasharala. Yo, what, what? Yo. Side of tight shit. Night We must go to war fast. About 10 kid, jumping in the shower, piece about to make moves to slide like grease. What I'm all about, text and checks with no respect. Your front, I'm slamming your life the legs. So now I'm out in the night, fly, rocking that real nigga, don't die. Guess down, draws can but yo, I'm making a pit stop. Going by your box of Glock, see, he know the way you quit up. Uh, yo, remember that kid that we vicked? He made a half a meal for real. He brought a belt for yeah, so now we connect doors. Meet me at the airport. Tell Golden Arms, maintain a fort. Get in touch with that West Coast Cali crab and staff. And meet me at the bitch slab. So word up, kid. We slid like a fat full of 12 bit and shit. Couldn't even rest. I need the Vic. And when I slept, I dream G's. Son, I need some. Keys won't sell. Call up, son. I heard Pook and Tyreek bought a beef over some real shit. A fake nigga fake the nigga. Yo, this click. Give me your minute and then I'm winning. Yo, niggas don't did it. Rock your vest, keep your whip tinted. So now we see him up in both angles, strangling a 40 ounce with 10 G's worth of gold bangles. Diamonds, what all up in his face with his man's mace. Medallions the size of dinner plates. Yo, he knew we knew him, so we blew him. Took 30 G's.